Hey guys, Sandra Greer, your director of player development here at Seabrook Island Club. I'm out on 17 on ocean winds right now. Got a little wind in my face. What we're talking about today is some course management and shot selection for your shots into the green. Um, I've got on the GPS and with, and with my laser range finder, 90 yards to the flag. I've got about 85 yards to the front edge of the green and 116 yards to the back of the green. So when I'm making my club selection, I can be comfortable hitting a little extra club, especially with this wind that's coming in my face whenever I turn around and uh, hit the shot. Um, I've got a little extra leeway if I go just a few yards past that hole. I can trust that the ball is not going to roll over the back. So when you're coming up to a hole anytime, don't just look at where the flag is, how far away you are from the flag. How far is it to the front of the green? How far is it to the back of the green? Where do you want your ball to land? where do you want your ball to finish? If this was a back flag, I would definitely probably club down or hit the same club to account for the wind, knowing I'm gonna come up short, but knowing I'm gonna get some rollout. So golf's a lot of mental and there's a lot of thought process you have to go into when you're picking your club selection. So I'm gonna hit this shot with my pitching wedge, which is about my 100 yard. And that's a lot of wind. hit it just a little bit left it landed because of the wind right on the edge of the green on the left edge about 90 yards and I'm probably maybe 10 yards past the flag which I'm okay with I like that two putt for my par on this hole so next time you guys are out there check the front of the green check the back of the green pick a club in between account for your rollout account for the weather and see how it changes your game when you start strategizing instead of just shooting for the pin every single time thanks and have a great day